we're a national environmental group. We're based in Maryland. Um, we support the project. We support this Calvert Cliffs <coughs> Nuclear Power Plant Unit 3. Uh, I think we were the first environmental group to um, support nuclear power. Uh, basically, I have two questions, but first an advertisement for Mike Shea to NRC, and that is if Mike Shea um, has a low-level um, radio station, so that would be a good place to advertise early and often. I believe he's also a pilot, so you might want to rent a banner from him. That's my girl. <laughs> um, to my questions, two questions. One is in the report, um, in the demographic information, Prince George's County wasn't included, and will that be included in the um, EIS? And also in the emergency of evacuation information, Prince George's County wasn't included. Um, we're based in Prince George's County, and I live there, so that's why I'm kind of bringing it up. And uh, number two, referring to the energy conservation question earlier, in the EIS or in a supplemental sub um, um, submission um, in the environmental report, will there be a regression analysis and um, based on electricity um, usage um, in the past, and will that regression analysis be used for future projections? In other words, have we ever um, conserved, have we ever used less energy, or will we be using more in the foreseeable future? Thank you. In the emergency planning area, there are two zones where we plan for. Uh, there's uh, the immediate 10 mile zone, and then there's a 50 mile ingestion pathway zone that we're concerned with. And it depends on where you lie uh, in those zones, the budget planning, wherever. But the, the requirement of the applicant is uh, that they need to submit the emergency plans for the state and local governments that are in that 10 and 50 mile zone. You certainly, if it's Prince George County, are included in that. Uh, so that emergency planning information will be, be in and part of that application, and then it will be reviewed along with the other information. Uh, any entity, any government entity, that, that uh, state local government entity that lies in that 10 to 50 mile area uh, needs to be included, and, and that information will be reviewed. And as I mentioned earlier, we rely on FEMA to do the review work of those state and local uh, plans uh, for us and then provide uh, their findings to us. Thank you, Dan. Um, Tom Fredericks, uh, in terms of that regression, what might be needed in the future, what might be needed now, those are questions along the lines of whether the power is needed, whether there are some alternates to